soaring temperature all around the world has made everybody to think about a mobility solution that is carbon neutral. In the entire story of green mobility, electric vehicles are turning out to be the protagonist. India has about 10,75,000 electric vehicles and 1,742 charging stations. But how does it translate for an individual electric vehicle owners? How many times are you going to get sure shot functional charging stations in and around your city? I chose Noida to explore and understand how often I'm likely to get my vehicle recharged with a public charging station. So everybody is uh, looking at electric vehicle as the solution or this is the front runner when we talk about the green or you can, we talk about environmental friendly, you know, uh, mobility solution. I also agree if I don't talk about the entire life cycle, uh, according to the tailpipe emission, I think electric vehicle is going to be answered at least uh, for city like Delhi. So I found out the charging station just next to my office Okay, so this is the charger. Hmm? There's nothing on the screen. So I was so happy to see this charging station just next to my office. But unfortunately, this one is not working. So let's find out. Let me continue my search for a functional uh, charging station now. So I'm right now going to a charging station which shows uh, somewhere around uh, few kilometers from here which is at Sai Baba Mandir. So I'm going to find out how does that charger work, is it working or not working, will I be able to charge my car, I have seen the range I'm reducing and my range is right now at about 130 kilometers but I'm still in safe. So this is Yet another charger that I have found out in sector 2, Noida, which is, uh, and apparently this is one of the chargers that I found that it is still on at least, the machine is on, that is the good part, but unfortunately it is malfunctioning, it is not working, so I'll have to continue my search for a functional charger in Noida again. While I continue my search for a functional charger in uh, Noida, I'll utilize the time to tell you about all new ZS EV. I'm driving this uh, MG Motors latest ZS EV. This is an electric car uh, that uh, the SAIC China, SAIC backed MG Motor has brought in India. Uh, the best part of the second edition of ZS EV. ZS EV was already on road uh, since 2020, but this is the latest version. In this version, if we talk about the uh, large scale changes that they have worked on that uh, the main part is that when you are going to buy an electric car you look at uh, buying a car which has a larger range so that you can reduce your range anxiety in this version the car maker has increased the power by almost 30 horsepower and now it has 176 horsepower and 280 newton meter of torque uh, this has a very automatic, uh, you know, uh, transmission that is there. Also, if we talk about the infotainment system, the size of the infotainment system has also been increased. This is almost 10 inches uh, screen that you have uh, in place. Uh, you have alloy wheels. Uh, that is another major change that has been uh, brought in in the latest edition of ZS EV. Uh, the claimed range now for ZS EV is uh, uh, ever uh, 400 kilometers however if I talk about the actual road condition I have been driving around uh, uh, this car for last two three days in and around uh, Noida and NCR so I should tell you the range is at about uh, uh, 320 to 350 kilometers if you try in eco mode but if you go into sports mode it comes down to about 300 kilometers of range and if you do uh, too much of a sports mode then it can further go down uh, minus the luxury brand then uh, this is the car that has the largest battery pack uh, i mean it is about uh, 
50 kilowatt and uh, earlier edition of ZS EV also had about 44 uh, kilowatt of battery which has now been increased to uh, you know uh, 50 kilowatt uh, so my car's range has drained to now almost 120 kilometers and I have to look out for a charger now Most likely people say at a dealership or service station you can find a functional charging station. I am here at Noida MG Motor Service Station and behind me is a charging station. I am happy to see that this charging station is at least on and the power supply is there. Let me try if it is working or not. I don't feel it is working. Let me check. हाँ भैया ये जरा देखोगे ये काम कर रहा है या नहीं नहीं कर रहा है सर आईपी इट्स नॉट वर्किंग सो एस आई एम टोल्ड दिस चार्जिंग स्टेशन आई वाज वेरी होपफुल दैट एट लिस्ट दिस वन विल बी वर्किंग आई होप आई एम एबल टू चार्ज और फाइंड अ फंक्शनल चार्जिंग स्टेशन इन नोएडा बिफोर आई रन आउट ऑफ कंप्लीट At home, you mostly charge at a slow speed, which takes about, uh, say, seven to eight hours to charge fully this uh, car. But if you are using a fast charger, uh, then it will take from zero to 80%. Uh, it will take about almost, uh, you know, an hour to charge uh, this particular car. If you look at this particular ZS EV, which is priced between 22 and 25.8 lakh, if you talk about operating cost, electric vehicles are going to be much more cheaper. If you talk about the operating cost, when you charge this car at home, the cost per kilometer will be around 3 rupees. In case of public charging station, the charging will cost you rupees 10 per unit in Delhi and rupees 13 in Noida. So this is about the operating cost of our electric cars in Noida and Delhi. So my search for electric charging station landed me to this location. This is sector 32 of Noida, next to the Noida Authority. Noida Authority is the nodal agency or body that is responsible for managing infrastructure of Noida city. This is NCR, I tell you, but to the delight of any electric car buyer, I could find one, two, three charging stations here. But let me try what are the condition of these charging star station. If I could ask my camera person to zoom in and show this charging station. As you could see this charging station looks like malfunction for many months. You could see the spider web. You could see the dirt and uh, filthy around this charging station. And you can make out that this has not been functional for many months. Next, next one is here. The story more or less remains same. You can see the charging knob is lying here. Uh, this remains completely non-functional for a long time. I think let's go to the third one and find out how is the situation there. This is the third charging station that I could see and this one is also not working. So with these three charging stations, I have gone to at least five charging stations at three different locations and unfortunately I found none of them functional including I went to one of the car service station also there people say you are most likely to find a functional charging station but unfortunately of the five to six charging stations that I found out in Noida none of them was functional mm -hmm. 